Sean Hansen in Cornell in red. Naheem McLeod in Syracuse in white. We are underway. The 128th meeting between Cornell and Syracuse tips off. Our officials tonight, Jeb Hartness, Jeffrey Clark, and Ted Valentine. And the back door open for the first basket of the game. Cooper Nord opens the scoring. Hansen, number 20, he can shoot the three. It's a great passing team for Cornell. That leads to an open three. Chris Bell, pull up, pop, and he drains it from deep. Inside McLeod. That's where Syracuse has the most physical advantage. And Mink strokes home the three. Syracuse started cold, just one of five from the floor, but the Orange on a 6-0 run right now. Mintz from the corner, got it again, Judah Mintz. Cornell likes to run this pistol action, Jay, in the transition as the first option. This is a matchup inside. They, have, they had a big on a little, and they kicked it back out for three. Cornell looking for their first win against the Orange since 1968. Taylor, a good look. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Starling lost the handle. Nazir Williams. Cornell likes the run in transition right to the rim for an easy two. Nazir Williams. Starling right into contact, no problem for the transfer from Notre Dame. Chris Mann, it spins his way in. Cleaning up the spill, Isaiah Gray, the senior from Brooklyn. We've got a good one here as Copeland lines up a three. It was halfway down, but rims out. Cornell just two of nine from three. They've had a lot more success going inside like that. I love that Brian Earl ATO that time. Coming off the timeout, knowing that Syracuse is going to pick up their pressure up the line, and you go back door with a great feed. First half. Now a sophomore, part of that star-studded freshman class a year ago for the Orange. And Little John Coliseum will be rocking for that one tomorrow. Don't miss it right here on ACC Network. You Justin Taylor's too. had the hot hand in this first half. That's his second three. Malik Brown poked it away. Kyle Cuff lays it up and in. Cornell just moving way too fast right now. It's allowed Syracuse to find a rhythm in transition. Taylor missed it that time. Go inside, Raglan hammers it home and Cornell needed that. Me in trouble with you, coach. They gave us the dunk, the bump. I mean, we need a little. Nice job getting to the rim. Deep three. Nothing but air. Up ahead, Gray. I and love Cornell. it, Jay. Bell, clean look. And he is money from the corner. Warns on a 14 to four run. Lefty hook finally drops for Sean Hansen. First basket of the night. Mintz in attack mode again. Into the lane, tough take, gets it to go. Judah Mintz take over. He is so good in the middle third of the floor. Naveen McLeod. 
In transition off their D, it looks like the floor is tilted, and then you throw it up, and it's two of 15 in this game. They've, took a, they've taken a couple of hurried threes, but otherwise they have had good shots, good attempts. Finally, one goes. It's not always how many you make, it's when you make them. Playing that zone, you know they're going to trap that short corner. Pass and cut right here. Wide open three, Boothby too much on it. Offensive rebound falls right to Gray. He's swatted from behind. Malik Brown, the rejection. Cornell is plus two on the glass. They have outscored Syracuse's bench 12 to four. North cuts the lead in half. Syracuse has dominated this geographical rivalry. They've won 42 straight. Cornell's last win, 1968. Judah Mintz starts the scoring in the second half and restores a five-point lead. DJ Nix answers right back. Cornell unafraid in this second half. Not surprised that Mintz gets the first possession for Syracuse. And then on the other side, Nix hit the first triple of the game for the Cornell. You gotta go inside to McLeod while he's posting up that strong. Seven foot four, cleared the runway for Syracuse after Cornell ended the first on an 11-1 run. Three baskets in the paint at the front of the rim. Hanson can't connect. Here comes the full court press. Syracuse breaks it well, Bell lines up a three and cashes. Watch how they break the press, advance past the basketball, and it's Mintz that sets up Bell for that extra half second because... He has struggled since transferring from Notre Dame to shoot the ball from outside. Just three of 22 from three to start his Syracuse tenure. Both of these teams comfortable running and gunning. We saw a hot tempo in the first half, and that has continued. Continuing to push Justin Taylor that time. In theory, for Cornell, they believe their depth is going to be a factor in the last five minutes of the game when they hope that they wear you down with all this pressure and this full court play. Good. Now Cornell needed behind. that. Cooper Nord delivers. Tell you what, Isaiah Gray does a good job on defense. He moves his feet. He, he's very physical at the point of contact. Yeah, the immediate answer from Judah Mintz as Chris Nannan spins his way in. Syracuse back up by a comfortable cushion. As I say it, Raglan knocks down a three for Cornell. Syracuse really doing a good job moving the ball. Everyone Here's gets a Vince. touch. Yeah, that's a really... Look at Mintz with his shoulders over his thigh pads like running back. And he is on Hits fire. It again. Bell, this has been the hot spot. Can't connect that time. Kick out Taylor a three. It's good. Bell's missed his last three. It's that one though. Back door open again. Isaiah Gray runs right through it. Syracuse is playing on the offensive end here, Jay. The way they're playing, not just 94 feet, but the way they're playing in the quarter court offensively. And there's a turnover. Turn it over that time. Up ahead. Finished at the rack. AK Okareke. Cornell back within 10. Judah Mintz still off the court for Syracuse. 
So the Orange and the Big Red have been playing since 1901, 128th meeting. Syracuse has won 42 straight. That is the second longest active streak in Division I. I, I don't know, I can't figure out who it might be. I have no idea. Uh, I mean, I don't even want to throw out a guess about a West Coast Conference team. I have no idea. Under 10 to shoot, Bell lets it fly and buries it. Cornell, the immediate answer, Keller Boothby. Five minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Shot clock at seven. Starling all the way to the rim. J.J. Starling. We're up 20 minutes from the dome. Now playing in it and trying to close this game out. Cornell continues the battle. Sean Hansen count it plus the foul. Hansen does a nice job of getting behind the defense. He took an elbow in the Lafayette game, four stitches. Money, oh, sorry, money. Hey. Oh, sorry, money. Spotted. They trailed for most of this game. Syracuse got up early by 13. Largest lead's been 14, and Cornell won't go away. Clinging to a five-point game. Can't have any game slippage right here like that. There's That's one a mistake. There. Gray slams it. The steal and the slam. Isaiah Gray. Trying to will the big red to the finish line. Look. But here Copeland back into the game for the Orange, playing with four fouls. Mint playing with four fouls. Shot clock down to five. Pull up pop. Starling. Cornell, a team that has gone fast all night on these last two possessions and slowed things down. Most teams don't play because Cornell plays so fast. And the defense holds a really good three-point shooting team. Claudier Copeland seals it. Cornell will feel like they had a shot and cut it to three. Final minutes. This